Hey guys, so today I'm going to go over uh, how to get your character to follow a spline track. So what we're going to do is right click here and we're going to go to blueprint class and we're going to create an actor. I'm going to call this roller coaster. And we're going to open this up. And the only thing we're going to do in here is go right up here and say add component. And we're going to look for spline. Now don't pick this top one, spline mesh. What we want is the spline utility right here. We're going to compile, save, and we're going to close out of this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our level, and I'm going to change from perspective to top-down view to make this easier. And I'm just going to drag our spline in, and I'll zoom in on it, and you'll see right here, this is our spline track. I'm going to right click on it and say duplicate spline point. And now I can pull this out. And you'll see this track is getting larger. So I'm just going to make it pretty big so we can see that we're moving. And that's all I'm going to do. Now I'm going to go back to perspective mode. And then I'm going to open up our player character blueprint. So this is my player character here. And what I'm going to do off of this event begin play is I'm going to drag out and say get all actors of class because I need to get a reference to the spline track that we just put in there. So I'm going to search for roller coaster. Roller, there it is. And then from here, since there's only one of them, I can use a get node and get index 0, which is going to be that one spline track that we put in the level. I'm going to right click here and promote this to a variable. So I'll call it spline track. And I'm going to hook this up here. And now what I want to do is get our player character to follow that track. So I'm going to right click here and make a timeline because this is going to be something that needs to go on tick. You can call it whatever you want track and I'm gonna double click in here and just say I want this to autoplay and loop you can also just use a basic tick but I like um, using timelines so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna drag out of the spline track reference we'll say get that and then what I want to do is get the um, Get what I called it. Get spline. And it's this spline component that we made. And from here, I'm going to add two things. Let's say we look for delta time, or world delta seconds. And the other thing I want is game time. So this is going to tell you how long the game has been like played, and this is going to give you the uh, delta seconds. And what we want to do is add them together. And I'll show you guys in a minute why. And we're going to come over here and make two variables. One I'm going to call distance, and we want this to be a float. And the other one I'm going to call speed, and we want that to be a float too. So what we want to do with this is we want to multiply this float by our speed. So this is going to tell you how fast the player is going to move along the spline. So let me compile this so we can set them. So I'll just give this a number like 500. And then here off the distance, we want to hold Alt so that we can set the distance. So what this is going to do is basically run off of a tick, and it's going to continuously add the delta seconds to the total game time. So we'll get a nice smooth transition along our spline. And just to speed that up, since these numbers are going to be really small, we're going to multiply it by our speed, which will be 500 in this case. Now what we want to do off of this spline is say get distance along spline Not that one. Get, uh, 
location. That's what it is. Get location at distance along spline. So this is going to give us a world, and we want to make this world coordinate space, uh, a point in the world, you know, a vector, at every distance along this spline point. And what we're going to do is take our distance that we're continuously updating and have it return this world value, this location. And then what we want to do is set actor location. And we're going to set the actor location to whatever the location should be at the certain distance along the spline. OK. So we're going to compile this, save, and I'll give you guys a chance to look at this in case you missed something. All right. And now we're just going to go into the game. We're going to hit play. And you see my little character, this circle. He's moving through a world along that straight spline path that I created until he reaches the end. Then he just kind of stops. All right, guys. I hope you like that. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and look out for more tutorials. All right. See you later.